Hello guys, today I will have a quick lesson on how to improve eloquent performance, but not in terms of the amount of queries, but the amount of data that is loaded from the server. So load only exactly what you need to be loaded. In this example, we have a books list and for every book, there's a review stars. In the database, it's a has many or belongs to relationship. So every book review belongs to a book. And what the developer does here is an example from one of my students is book with book reviews and then search. Everything is good here. And then in index blade, if we search for book reviews, that relationship is used to calculate the stars. So if there is at least one review, then we calculate the round of rating, dividing that by the amount of ratings and then show one star or zero star. So colored or uncolored. And this is all fine and working. And if we take a look at Laravel debug bar, the amount of queries is cool for queries. But the problem here, as I see, is the amount of models. This is another tab that you should take a look when using Laravel debug bar is what models are loaded from the server, which means how much memory you actually use. This is RAM. And this is one of the performance indicators. It's not just the amount of queries, but the amount of RAM memory used per script per page load. And in this case, I see that there are 186 reviews loaded, although actual reviews are not really used. Only the amount of reviews and the stars for rating is used. So what is happening here? When we're loading book with book reviews, we load all reviews with all the fields of every review although we actually need only rating. And here the result of our script also seen in the debug bar is seven megabyte of memory of RAM. And let's try to optimize it a bit and see how much memory we can save. And I will show you two ways. First, did you know that you can customize with with callback function? So function query. And then inside of that function, you can specify whatever condition you want, like query where, for example, or something including query select. So we select only the fields that we need, which is book ID and rating. Book ID is for the relationship. And now if we reload that page, so book review is still 186, but the memory is six megabytes instead of seven. And to prove you what is loaded, I will use Spati Laravel Ray that shows all the models. And I've done at the bottom Ray models books. You can use something like DD in your case, but I just prefer Spotty Laravel Ray. And as you can see, all the relationships for any book has only two fields. So it doesn't load any ID created at or anything like that. And another even shorter way, which is possible from 8.12, Laravel 8.12, is to load the exactly average because we need the average. We don't need the sum. We don't need the count. We need average. And I had a video on that pretty recently. I will link that in the description below about new features of Eloquent that appeared in 8.12 and above. You can load with authors. So for example, with authors, which is fine. And then you can load with, but not with book reviews, with average book reviews. This is the name of the relationship. And then average of which field, which is exactly what we need, rating. And then the result of that would be book underscore reviews underscore rating, which is table name underscore field. And here in the index, then we don't need the count here at all. We don't need if else here. And in here, we need to replace this with book, book reviews, rating. From what I remember the syntax. And that's it. Let's refresh and see if we didn't break anything. Refresh. No, I don't see the stars. So probably I missed something. Oh, it should be book reviews, average rating. So AVG rating, refresh. And now we have the stars here. So three stars or two stars, five megabytes still here. But as you can see, no models are returned for book reviews. And in general, my suggestion is, so the general recommendation is load only what you need to load. Do not load all the models for relationships if you need only certain fields or only certain calculations. In some cases, it's even better to use raw queries, SQL queries, if you need some grouping which is not supported by Eloquent directly, or it is too complex maybe in Eloquent. So Eloquent is cool to auto load a lot of stuff, but if you care about performance a lot, then load only what you need to load. 
But speaking of Eloquent, I have a separate course on my Teachable about Eloquent expert level. It was created quite a long time ago, but it's like 99% still relevant because Eloquent didn't change since then. So if you want four hours strictly on the Eloquent topic, go to that course or any of my courses at laravelldaily.teachable.com. By buying those courses, you support this YouTube channel and then I have more free time to shoot free videos like this one. See you guys in other videos.